we have the heat sink we have the heat break we have the heat block and the nozzle and the fan shroud and fan assembly first of all you want to add the nozzle to the heat block so you want this guy into this guy so just add the nozzle all the way so it's flush with the heat block and then turn it quarter turn out about a quarter turn out so you have some space between the nozzle face and the heat block face this is important and then we add the heat break and you want to make sure that the heat break go goes all the way down to the nozzle so it should look like this inside the heat block so these parts need to be flush with each other that's very important this is the most important uh, step in the assembly is to get the heat break flush with the nozzle inside the heat block like this this is very important and when you have those guys in place you can uh, hold the heat block with a plier or something and just tighten the nozzle a little bit not too tight you are going to re-tighten the nozzle when everything have, have been heated later so when you have those in place you add the heat sink and, uh, uh, that's very easy because you just uh, screw this uh, assembly we have here now all these parts should go all the way up inside until you cannot go any further so let's do that so it should look like this when assembled so the heat break goes all the way up inside the heat sink and still the nozzle and the heat break are flush inside the heat block this is very important and then also important to add the fan shroud in the correct way so it's supposed to sit like this now it need to be flush with the heat sink so the heat sink and the fan shroud should be flush or at least never have the fan shroud below below the bottom part of the heat sink so do not have it like this because you might have air leakage down into the hot zone which you don't want you don't want any air leakage it could be a bow like this that is okay but yeah if you have it flush then uh, you know you are you are safe like this okay so that's how to assemble the parts on the e3d v6